This can't be enjoyable. It's a Bob Rick hand dryer. We know how crap Bob Ricks are. Mm. Oh, hello. What's this? Power Bob. Is that power coming from a Bob Rick? No. It is still a piece of absolute shit. Another one of those rare, uncommon hand dryers. The Zenith Super Dry Extreme. Uh, let's see how it goes. This is a vander resistant place, so vander resistant places don't normally have any good stuff. It is a piece of absolute effing shit. But I must admit though, though that the sense is good, it's not turning off. Them. But I will show you one you need. Oh my god, it smells of hot air. That's not really... I will show you one cool feature. You can, in fact, turn it round. You can turn the nozzle and dry your face with it. You can, in fact, use it to dry your face. That is quite good fun, but on all other principles, it is a piece of shit. This is one of those times when I ask, what the bloody hell is this? The Supreme Arbridge. Two different hand dry companies. Have to see. It just looks like a Supreme BA-101 to me. That is... That sounds like the fan is broken in there. Let's try this one. Oh, it's got a different motor in it. Well, it is pretty good, but let's try a bit longer. Pretty good, but it's not as good as a regular R Rich or a regular Supreme. So, really, it would have been better if they'd have picked one or the other rather than trying to go with both. Okay, I've now managed to get this bloody thing to work. So, this is a review of the original Supreme Master Air. It's worse than the original. The sensor doesn't work properly. The sensor doesn't work properly. Oh, that is crap. This is worse than the normal ones. Type of JD McDonald's hand dry. Oh, that water's going. You don't even need an expert to work out that it is complete and utter shit. The Fuma Care Hand Dryer from Mediclinics. The last time I used the Mediclinics Hand Dryer, it was a... It was a... Medicare one from Mediclinics. It was shit, so um, I don't think this one will be any better. I'm right. It is shit. Wow. Not inspiring at all. This is a Supreme Tornado SD hand dryer. It's not as powerful as the name or look of it would suggest. That's it. 
I'm going to have to try holding the door open because it's so dark in here. And that frigging light's broken. It should be on sensor, but it's not working. Anyway, this is the super dry hand dryer. I've been waiting for a long time to film one of these because they because when I went to film one at Wellington Airport, they've been replaced. So let's try it. What's that motor sound like? Oh! Is that a Supreme BA101 motor? That sounds like a Supreme motor. Does it say Supreme on it? I think that's actually a Supreme. So it's a Supreme. But let's, let me show you one cool feature. Yes, you can blow dry your face on it. Let's just open the door and get a better look at it. There it is. This is a silver one. They also come in white. That's Rentical. Some old things. Let's try this. So it's actually a well dryer. Very good. Ladies and gentlemen, this is an Airtel S9, and finally I found a blue Airtel S9 with the blue labels. As you can see, it is still S9. Oh, move my my coke over there. Oh, well, the tap's rubbish. <laughs> Works like any other S9, but I don't know whether or not there is a slightly different motor in here, or whether this isn't working properly. Let's listen again. Maybe it's just the environment that we're in. But yeah, I finally found a blue Airtel S9. This is a Bradley hand dryer. The label has come off. But you look underneath, you can see the Bradley logo. Let's try it out. Right. Well, it doesn't work properly, does it? So, no, it is useless. You can see the screw holes. I believe there used to be an Airtel S9 here, but yeah, for now that's it. An ASI hand dryer. I've never seen anything like this before. We'll give it a go. How do you work with the tap? I'll pull some out it well. Wow, I was expecting one of those pieces of crap, but this is actually... That is amazing. It's like the, uh, it's like the uh, Air Force from World Dry. Uh, there is only one problem. Noise.